I believe that the love was always there, but I was lost in the business part of it, lost in what was expected of me, lost in what I was expecting in myself. And I think I, I knew that it was something that I enjoyed doing, but I for a long time wanted to get away from it because it was painful. It just hurt too much. It was physically, mentally, emotionally taxing. And I knew that if I could love it somehow and love what I was doing, that it would be okay. But for a long period of time there, I couldn't find the love in it. I was doing it simply as a robot, as a mean to make, means to make money, means to get by, and means to just get to the next year, week, month, day, whatever it was. I think it was starting, starting with two questions. What if? was the first question. What if we could build a company around something that we could love to do? and only do the parts of it that we love to do. And I think that was a big, 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 big moment for me, is deciding that why not try? It wasn't working the other way because I wasn't enjoying it. It was surviving and making money, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't enjoyable at all. But if I could just do the work that I loved to do, what would that look like? And it started with what if. The other question was starting with why. Why do I really care about this? Why do I really want to do this? And why me? Why should I be the guy who makes a difference in the industry? That really takes hold of it and want to change a lot of what's happening. So the what if and the why were two big, big questions for me.